Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. As you can tell, yes, I'm sick. You can hear it in my voice, but it is going away. Slowly but surely, I'm feeling good. I just sound like a frog, but um, I'm not letting it get in the way of what I'm wanting to do today. Because I just received my package I ordered from Beauty Bakery and I am so excited. Oh my gosh, my mic has been in this this whole time. Hello! This video has been sponsored by Audible. I'm sure you've heard of Audible, but if you haven't, I'm gonna get into it real quick here. It's very easy to get your first audiobook for free when you sign up for a 30-day trial. You just have to go to my link, www.audible.com slash Mia Maples or text Mia Maples to 500 500. I, I don't know my own code. <laughs> text Mia Maples to 500 500 for the US subscribers. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Are you wondering what you'll get with this? All right, let me tell you. I wrote it down. One credit good for any audiobook you choose, plus two Audible originals from a changing selection exclusive to Audible. Also available are audio, fitness, and health workouts created exclusively for Audible. So, like, you can get fit, basically. Plus, your books are yours to keep. With Audible, you can go back and re listen at any time. So, once you got it, you got it. Let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted to learn about your hobbies, your pets, your plants maybe? As of lately, I've been very interested in like the way plants grow and what certain plants need. Well, you can learn about it on Audible. Most recently, I have read the book, How to Make Japanese Ramen by How Expert Press. As most of you probably know, because I've literally posted like five videos about it, I went to Japan recently, got into a Michelin star restaurant, I was allergic to the ramen. So I took to Audible to learn how to make some authentic Japanese ramen and it worked out great. It was very good. So yeah, Audible has a lot to offer. If you guys are interested in signing up for a free 30 day trial, make sure to use my link www.audible.com slash Mia Maples or text Mia Maples to 500 500 for US subscribers. All right, now we are gonna go back to our regular scheduled programming. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. So as you guys know, on my channel, I do this series where I do a full face using one brand of makeup, whether it's drugstore, high end, doesn't really matter. And Beauty Bakery has been a brand I've wanted to try for so, so long. Firstly, disclaimer, I bought all this with my own money. Beauty Bakery doesn't know I'm making this video. It's not sponsored. It's all my own opinion. They don't know me. They probably don't want to know me and that's all there is to that. But yeah, we're gonna be doing our full face using Beauty Bakery. Now I am so wickedly excited. These, this is the first time I'm using anything ever from Beauty Bakery. And let me just say, this is the cutest packaging I have seen ever in my life. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this, look at that, that is so cute. Um, they're very well known for, I think they're an indie makeup brand. Uh, I think it's just online, correct me if I'm wrong, but like this is the cutest stuff I've seen in a long time. Like when I unboxed this, I was just like taken back with how adorable, coloring, everything, just so perfect. I would say it's like a midway between low end and high end or like drugstore high end, not low end, drugstore rocks. But yeah, I think without further ado, let's get into this full face. Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna take these ridiculous glasses off. I, I, I love these, but um, they won't be the best for doing my makeup. So let's zoom in and get started. All right, so now that we're zoomed in a little bit, I've got the first product. Now this is like a set of four beauty blenders or like just like makeup sponges. I always wanna call beauty blender, or makeup, anything that's like in the shape of an egg, I claim as beauty blender, but that's not the case. It's actually just like a makeup sponge in the same shape, like Beauty Blender is the brand, but I always mess that up. But yeah, so these are the blending eggs and this packaging, if I already can feel myself on an endless loop, just raving about packaging, honestly, even if these products are the absolute worst, they still have the hardest win for packaging. They did it the best and it's such a good idea. Like this packaging is so cute, but yeah, so it's like basically a carton of eggs inside the oh my gosh it's not four it's six and how much was this like to get six sponges that's pretty good eighteen dollars for all six of them so if these are good that is like 
a really amazing price. They feel really good. I would say that they feel a little bit more dense, but still very squishy. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a pink one and I'm gonna go wet it really quickly. All right, so here is the beauty blender. Oh my God. I need to get this through my head. So here's the makeup sponge. Honestly, very similar shape. I would say that theirs is more like a teardrop. Like it's got a little bit more heft to the booty, which I can't say about myself. I freaking wish, but uh, at least my makeup sponge has it. Okay, but we will use that for foundation. But first I have this Beauty Bakery baking oil for your face. Now it says, instant radiance, perfect for all skin types. Our vegan baking oil will leave your complexion hydrated and glowing and if there's one thing i need it's hydration and i've messed up with tops like this before you're supposed to click the lid and that's how you suck up the product like the lid is like a little button we're just gonna dot that on whoa it's really sliding whoa oh my goodness it smells so much like a lemon seed poppy seed muffin do you see that on my face it's like seriously like i just rubbed canola oil on me. This is what I need though. My skin is so dry right now. The other day I was like doing my makeup and I looked in my like really magnifying mirror and my entire nose was just dry skin. I had to like peel off my nose. I was like, what? I want to see how it works with foundation, of course, but for hydrating, it feels like it just every single dry ounce of my face just like sucked it up and it feels so much better. And I do like the little shine it gives, especially for like summertime. I think that'll look nice. This is the cutest packaging ever. This is like a cake mix. It's called the Demi Matte Foundation, which I'm very curious about because I don't usually wear matte foundations, but it might honestly be good for me, especially with this oil base. You drop it down and here is the foundation. Whoever's on the design team for this, is doing well like very well it's got like a rose gold cap and it's actually glass it feels like pretty heavy this foundation was 28 dollars, so i would say like midway now this was a guess because not only do i fake tan a lot so i'm like different shades but also i was on line so i picked the shade 53 and honestly it looks like it'd be pretty good they had a well thought out shade range thing online like it kind of told you like what your undertone is then it had people of that shade and like yeah it made it as easy as it could be to pick a shade online let's see what it's like oh my goodness did i match myself like not my face but my neck did i match i'm gonna stop pretending like i can do this without a mirror pull that in 12 seconds later okay what hold on a second this makeup sponge is actually doing something weird <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna just try my own makeup sponge. Just make sure that it is in fact the sponge and not the combination of foundation with oil. Why would that possibly be? Also, like, did, I pumped like two pumps on my hand and I didn't even get my whole face covered. What? Let's try a bit more. Let's just see. That is not covering very good. It seems like the sponge is just like hoovering it up. <gasps> Oh my goodness, you guys. What is going on with this? I take my fifth pump of foundation. Let me see if I can just work this in. My seventh pump. Why? Okay. Okay, this is just touched by the brush. So let's see if there's anything going on here. Okay, that base is not looking like what I want it to look like. Um, I actually think I need to try this again because... I want to give this a fair shot and like I can't tell if the oil messed with this. I'm going to wipe this foundation off and try it without the oil. Let's try that again. <laughs> I just went and washed my face with water and dried it off obviously and sat for a second. So now I'm going to try the foundation again, but I'm just going to use my regular beauty blender and no oil to begin because I'm just so confused why it would be so bad on my skin, and I'm wondering if it's the combination. So we're just gonna do the basics and see if that gives it a better shot. So let's see. I have not tried to make a foundation work so hard in a long time. Can you see the separation on my forehead that's happening already? Like I haven't even been wearing it. It's not covering everywhere. I'm gonna try and be positive. 
<laughs> I'm literally having an argument with my inner self right now. I'm very curious if you guys have ever tried this foundation and what your thoughts on it were. But I'm just going to let it sit and maybe it'll grow on me. I'm trying to look at it with an open mind. You know what? I think I'm just going to do the concealer. And then if the concealer doesn't fix it, I will put on my regular face products. We'll see if we can like even it out with the concealer. So this is the Cake Face Beauty Bakery Concealer. Got this in like a highlighting shade. So I'm just going to... This feels like the same consistency. I'm trying to fix like... What's going on on my face by just going over it? <gasps> right on my forehead where I put the concealer, it's completely separated and created like a circle. This is my concealer blending in. I'm just gonna excuse myself for a second and uh, I'll be right back. So as I took that off and uh, put on some new foundation, my foundation that I wear every day with uh, a different beauty blender. I had time to just think. And uh, I remember one time I had a foundation do almost the exact same thing. It was the Burt's Bees foundation. Love Burt's Bees, but their foundation like did not work for me at all. And I remember thinking it was because it was very waxy. And I kind of get the same feeling from this foundation and also the concealer, like very, very waxy and kind of like tugging. And I think because my skin is so dry, those like really don't work well together. So I don't know if I can say that this is a, this is a bad foundation because I'm not exactly sure if it's bad or if it just really doesn't work with me. I'm very, very, very curious to hear what you guys think of these products if you've tried them before. So clearly they didn't work in the slightest for me, but I don't want to shame these products because I have been problematic in the past. Like my skin is very difficult. If you guys have any like explanation of why you think it didn't work for me, make sure to let me know. And uh, I think I gave it a fair shot, but it's just not gonna work for me, these ones. I'm honestly sad. I don't like when things don't work out. But okay, moving on. This is the setting powder. It's in the shape of like a flower, like a little baking thing. Um, I'm hoping we're going up from here. So in here is the powder, obviously. Adorable packaging, literally can't clock that, and I never would try. I'm gonna tap some in here. I'm gonna put that under my eyes. Seems to be going well. Okay, <laughs> good, all right. I think we're moving up now. How I feel right now is I just feel like I had like an argument with someone and now I need to like sit beside them for like a bus ride or something. And I'm just trying to be like, hey, like, how you doing? Like, I'm s sorry that that happened because like, obviously I feel bad that I didn't like it. This uh, powder looks great. And I'm not just saying that, it actually does. Like it act it made my skin look really nice. So there. Okay, so next thing we are going to try is this Beauty Bakery Illuminator. Again, packaging, 10 out of 10. So it's just like, honestly, this is really interesting packaging. I think you just tap it into the lid. My brush is full up. Ooh, it's pretty. It's like a bronzy gold. So next little thing I have this and it is brownies to go. Brow is like, the biggest piece and oh this is cruelty free Ooh, that's really nice packaging and i got it in the shade taupe oh my goodness that's nice okay here we go one eyebrow done other one need some work this uh pomade is really good all right there are the eyebrows the pomade was super super pigmented really really nice and smooth okay and then i've got this ice cream to go it says like eyes cream like ice cream here is this one this is in the shade pancake ice cream here it is so this is just like a basic color so i'm gonna put this all over the lid kind of like a painterly situation now we're going to dive into the do it for the gram eyeshadow palette uh this is what it looks like first things first gonna take this like taupe color and just put that all over the lid just to set that cream eyeshadow we just put on we're just gonna take this color and carve out the crease a little just to create some dimension and then we're gonna take this color same idea but just in more the outer corner now i'm gonna switch to a little bit of a more pointed brush just take 
this color and we're just going to put it at the edge these have all been blending really nice by the way very very smooth and workable and blendable i'm just gonna put, drag the excess down here okay i'm kind of feeling either this shade or this yellow shade I'm kind of feeling the yellow get your painting brushes ready that is so pigmented, oh my goodness. Okay, so this palette rocks. I'm gonna take this blue. Oh no, I'm going too far. Oh no, no, no. Looks pretty fun, I think, right? Like, are we having fun yet? Now that we have the eyeshadow on, we're gonna go into this gelato to go. It's like a gel eyeshadow. I love the play on words. And this is in the shade So Marshmallow. Interesting, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I'm gonna try and put this like right in here. Ooh, that is so pigmented. I wonder how long that'll stay for. All right, and now we've got this lollipop liner. Such cute packaging again. This eyeliner. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we can do with this. I feel like so boring doing eyeliner because I like kind of always do the same. All right, I'm doing something crazy, you guys. I want to put a dot right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. Now we're on to mascara. So you guys know I have eyelash extensions, but I've been, I'm going to take one for the team and put mascara on because they're pretty dusty. This is the Eyelash Icing Black Mascara. Oh, I was not expecting that. It's like a tube. Okay. What does the wand look like? Oh no. I don't usually like wands like this, but okay. Let's see. All right, you guys. So it's been a journey, but we are almost at the end. We have some lip products to try out. Now, this is actually how I originally heard about Beauty Bakery was because of their lip products. Um, my hairdresser loves their stuff. So I got two mattes and one gloss. So let's see. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that is a nice color. I'm so predictable. Look at these two shades I bought. And the gloss I'm pretty sure was like a unicorn gloss. Like I was pretty intrigued. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And look, it looks like a unicorn horn. This is in the shade Honey Lip Whip. Oh my gosh, that is nice. Kylie who? These are so nice. All right, now we're going to take this Enchanted Jelly. Oh my goodness. And like, look at There's none of my color on the lip. A wand. Like, it's not budging. All right, let me slip into something a little more comfortable and we will do the final thought. All right, you guys, so here is the finished makeup look using all products from Beauty Bakery, aside from the foundation and concealer. Honestly, I feel so bad that we started off on such a rough leg, rough foot. How does that go? But I will say my final thoughts is that I loved literally everything except for the foundation and concealer. Even the oil at the beginning, I feel like I will try and use. I think that honestly it was the foundation and concealer that were problematic because even after I tried without the oil, they still were being uh, problematic for me. I think maybe it's just too waxy for my skin. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know how the formulas work. I don't know how they react with each other or react with skin. So I can't really say. All I can say is that it didn't work personally for me. Not saying it won't work for you. I definitely think if you're interested, you should give it a try. Um, but yeah, for me personally, didn't work. If anyone knows like why they think it didn't work for me, like let me know down below because I'm like a little confused. Great eyeshadow, great eyebrows, great eyeliner. Honestly, this eyeliner in here, this white, it's like still on here and it looks great. Definitely think the lip products is like could possibly be the best in the game like these are these are really nice. And in my personal opinion, they have the best packaging ever. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For anyone that was curious about this brand, I hope that this helped out and was fun to watch. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, I have an entire playlist of videos like this and also different videos that you can watch. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh. Bye! <laughs> Goodbye.